Holy crap, guys, you have no clue how much I wanted to do this series. What's up, guys? It's me, Vision, and welcome to the very first tutorial. Literally. So, I have wanted to start this series for so freaking long, guys. You have no clue. I am the creator of Sleepover and Out of Stock. Sleepover isn't really a game, to be honest. But, um, yeah. So without further ado, I just want to get right into it. This tutorial is going to start the series of how to make a story game on Roblox, the 2020 version. But before we begin, I'd appreciate it if you guys played my game out of stock. Also, credit to all of these people who were able to help me with this magnificent game. You can also purchase VIP to get some sweet perks. The game is completely free to play and it can fit up to 10 people per game. The story takes place in a supermarket called Stock Mart. Once you go inside of the employees only room, you should find your manager, Benjamin. He'll be the one that will be leading you across the whole game. And all the other parts, I'll let you find out yourself. But anyways, please check out my game, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, on to the tutorial. Okay guys, so we are back now. So obviously, you want to create a new game and choose a base plate. Today, we're going to be starting our character customization. So basically, um, what I do is I'll either just grab a build rig for a block, I'll delete that, or I will use a load character and simply just insert my character and use that as my NPC and I'll just um, redesign it a bit. So I'm going to create an NPC. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to use Ender, who is the Xbox beta tester I just said beta, what the heck? Who is my Xbox beta tester for out of stock. And we are just gonna rename him, um, hold on, what should we name our guy? We're gonna name him Ross. All right, so we have Ross now. He's gonna be the character that we're gonna make. So let's go ahead and redesign him. Now, surprisingly, a lot of you guys have no clue how to insert accessories onto an avatar, the 2020 version. Like, usually people will just say, um, like, oh, search up hair and models, and then um, you get a hair, right? So once you have the hair, uh, you're just gonna rotate it, and then you're just gonna move it onto the character, and just pretty much hope that the hair will be on top of them, and just automatically be connected. No, it's not gonna work like that, guys. Um, if you drag it in, it will work. But let's say there's something here that um, you guys don't want. Let's say if you want something else, that um, isn't here in the toolbox, but only in the catalog. Well, that's pretty simple. So basically, if you want to get this um, to work, then you just want to go to Avatar Shop. Then you want to go to Accessories. So I want to give him some nice hair. So let me just look for some hair that would fit Ross. Okay, so I decided I'm going to give him this brown fluffy sided hair. So what you want to do is you want to go to the top here and just copy the ID, um, CTRL plus C. And now we can be back at the studio. So you want to type in game, get service, insert service, and load at set. Then you want to change this ID into the ID that you copied from the catalog. Also, this code will be a link in the description. So you guys can just copy and paste it. All right, now press enter, and then you should see a model come in. So we're gonna delete um, whatever we don't want on our avatar first. Then we're gonna move this inside of our character. And boom, now we have the hair that we want for our character. And then we can just delete this model. All right, so now we can move on to the face. Same thing, just go to the avatar shop, which I'm gonna do real quick. And you guys can choose any face that you'd like. I'm just gonna choose skeptic. So we're going to copy the ID, we're going to paste it onto Roblox, you're going to go to head, go to face, go to properties, and then you just want to paste in your ID. And there you go, now we have our hair and our face, but let's say he, we uh, wanted some different clothing on him. Simple. Okay, so we have a shirt for our character, so I'm just going to paste in the ID right here. And there we go, um, here is the shirt we will be using. And I think that it's fine with the same pants on. 
Also, um, some of you have been asking me, um, how do you remove this name? Um, if you delete it, it will not work, because then you can't even script with him. So you want to go to Humanoid, Display Distance Type, and change it to None. And there you go, problem solved. Also, um, make sure the Humanoid root part is anchored. And now we can take him and just move him wherever you want inside the base plate. So this is going to be the guy that's going to be helping us throughout the way. Now, the more challenging and difficult part, building the whole map. So my story is going to be about a circus. So if you want, you can use a free model, but um, be aware when you use free models. So I'm just going to search up a circus because some free models can actually have viruses in them and they can infect your game and your account and get you banned so you don't want that i'm just waiting for this to load in okay so now we have it loaded in so we're just going to go to it and let's check if there's a virus so i have a plugin called a uh, virus a hidden infection script remover so we're just going to scan for an infection real quick So it's scanning right now. We're just giving it a sec. I'm just searching for script. Anti lag. Message detected. Script remove. Anti lag. Alright, that doesn't even work. Play animation. There's a lot of errors here. Okay, it's okay. So, there's a taco. That's cool. Are there any spawns? That's my question. Let's see. Spawn. No, there's not. So, yeah, guys. Um, I do highly recommend building your own place um, for whatever it is. Like, if it's a school, if it's a cruise, if it's, like, a camping game. Then I just recommend building yourself to, to uh, uh, not get some sort of virus. But... For the sake of this, I'll just be using a free model since I don't have a lot of time here. So anyways, um, you want to put down your spawns right here. And you're going to duplicate this, so we're just going to move that here. And I'm going to group them, and I'm going to rename it spawns. And I'm going to remove the decals. I don't really want those. And I'm going to change their transparency to 1 and can collide to true. Also, make sure your spawns are anchored or people will be moving around and just ruining the whole spawn. And who knows, they could just drag one of the spawns all the way over there or something. But anyways, now we have our map and our character lost. So we're just going to, I'm just going to go to... Why is this called a Yab yeah Boy? Okay, I guess it's just called that. Okay, so now let's go to Ross, our character. So we are going to drag him into here. So we are going to put him... Hold on, where are the spawns? Here are the spawns. So we are going to put Ross... Hmm, where should I put him? I think that we will put him probably in one of, yes, I will put him right here. And since, um, I know I said only anchor this, but um, if you don't want to have the NPC moving, then just anchor the whole thing, okay? But if your NPC is going to be moving or having an animation, do not anchor him. Um, you should, instead, you should uh, put can collide off and change the collision group ID to one instead. But yeah, so now we have Ross here. So the players will spawn here and Ross will be over there waiting for them. 
and I think I know exactly how to do this. So this was a very short tutorial, it was only part one, but it's only an introduction to the start of the game. So if you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial, uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, let me guys know if you want a part two to this, which I will have nonetheless, I will have a part two. I'm pretty sure part two is going to be the dialogue GUI and teaching you guys how to make the dialogue, how to make um, this guy say something and a, ran a random player say something and uh, this is the June version so everything should be working fine if you're watching this in June 2020 but yeah guys see you guys later